Hey, what's up, people? We're back again. We have an exclusive. We're catching up with the one and only Sanaipe Tande. Karibu Bumple. I understand. Oh, my family, Bumple. You feel me? <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations on the release. Thank you. Nabo is out right now. Mm -hmm. um, phenomenal body of work. Six tracks on there. Um, two features. Nyashinsky is on there. Calligraph is on there. Um, amazing. Thank you. Let's start with the with the title, Nabo. Nabo. Oh, Nabo. Yes. Speak to us about that. So Nabo is a Maasai word mm. for the number one. Mm. Yes. Okay. So this is the first compilation I've ever you know put together, and so it was only rightfully yes. Oh, as a solo artist, you mean? Yes. Okay. Compilation. I mean, yeah. there's a lot of music, but those are just singles that come out. Yeah. Um. So rightfully so, titled. The first one, first Nabo, one. Mm -hmm. and then it's also um, the title of one of the tracks in in the first track, right? Yes, the first the, track called Nabo. the Nabo track. Mm -hmm. And and <laughs> the Nabo track. And ideally, the song actually talks about putting yourself mm. first mm -hmm. and and realizing that, like fingerprints, you're just uh, unique, yeah. and you have something about you that somebody else doesn't have. Mm -hmm. So if you think about it, you are number one in your own space. Yeah. Everyone is number one in their own space. So very, you know, two key collaborations. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, these are guys who are, you know, revered in the industry. Yes. Top of the rap game for Calligraph. Nyash is just top of music. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, so how, how did that go? Was that easy for you to, um, for them to work with you? Because that speaks a lot to your place in the game. Um, you know, with the, with the time you've put in, the... Mm -hmm the music that you've given us. You know, you're definitely on a pedestal, in my opinion. Thank you. And um, yeah, speak to us on how those collaborations came about. All right, so so there's a story for each here. Yeah, yeah. Um, with Calligraph, I remember he had approached me back in 2015, 2014. Mm -hmm. I was hosting karaoke at Buddha Bar. Yeah. And I had just finished hosting. It's like midnight, one o'clock. I'm heading over to, you know, buy the usual food after the rave. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm at, I'm at oily beer. To smoky Zama? Boilo uh, Zama? Uh-uh, no, no. <laughs> That's for Electric Avenue, Bana. We were on the other side of town. Other side of town, um, okay. So he, I ran into him. Yeah. And he came, he said hi, he introduced himself, and he said, yo, like, I really look up to you in the music, you're really, really talented, and I was hoping that we could do something. So I'm just like, ah, no, you know, right now I'm not looking to do collaborations, which was the honest truth, mm -hmm. other than just being lazy and comfortable. Um, so maybe we can talk some other time. And I remember he played something for me in my car, but I just wasn't into it at the time. Oh, he was eager. He was. Yeah. And so this time, my time, my mm -hmm. turn, I was so hesitant to ask him because I was like, oh my goodness. <laughs> if he remembers what happened and the fact that I turned him down. Yeah. But it was genuine. When I turned mm. him down, it was genuine. There's no point of saying yes to a collaboration and then somebody calls you on Monday, you're, you're like, I know, I don't it. have time, yeah. you know? Um, so I, I reached out, uh, I'd sent, I actually sent a message, that's how hesitant I was. I was just like, I might call and just, this guy just doesn't pick up. So I sent him a message and he called back immediately. I okay. couldn't pick the call. And then, and then I called back and he's like, yo, so I pay, like, mm. I mean, you don't know where I've placed you. Yeah. You don't know where I've placed you. So this is an honor for me. Yeah. And I was, I was so moved. Like yeah. I was just, I'm like, this is the OG banner, you mm. know, mad respect. Mm. And he's busy telling you how he's placed you on a pedestal. You're yeah. like, wow. So that really moved me. Mm. Um, so with Nyashinsky, I've known Nyashinsky for like the longest time since when they were kleptomaniac. Yeah. Uh, and I've always found him to be like, like top. Yeah, like yeah he's exceptional. He, he really is. Yeah. And the way he can play around with singing and then move into the rap and, mm. and, and it's, it's rap, like deep rap, and mm. then come and sing, and you're just like, why is this guy giving me competition, you know? <laughs> so I reached out to him. He was, he was super excited. He was more than willing. Mm. And he's like, I really, I really respect your, your writing and, you know, the way you manipulate your verses and everything. And I was, again, yeah. so moved. These are people I really look up to in the industry. And so for them to talk about me like that really, really just motivates me. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yo, it's an amazing body of work. Um, it's six tracks, Nabo. <coughs> yes. So I know some Maasai. Ah. Um, Nishinsky's on there, Calligraph is on there. You can get it on Boomplay. 
And uh, Sanepe, I want to thank you so much for um, taking the time to speak to us. Thank you for having me. Um, you know, you are literally one of the most talented singers we've ever had in this country. Thank you. And uh, it's definitely an honor to have you on here. Make sure you go stream Nabo. I don't know if you have any parting words. Um, I think that, that would be the perfect one right now. <laughs> that's, that's, it's, it's, it's perfect for now because, you know, the EP is out. Uh, yeah. I need people to stream. I need people to... Um, you know, just look out for the videos. They're coming soon. That's what I'm saying. Yo, that's been an episode of The Catch Up with Sanai Pei Tande. Till next time, peace. I like this part right here. For the queen, queen.